Vila regurgitation, no wall motion abnormalities, no structural defects. If he didn't sound so despondent, I'd say that was good news. It is for you, not for him. Notice any heaviness in your legs the last couple of days? Why isn't it good news for you? Because if there's nothing wrong with you, he gets fired. Seriously? Somewhat seriously. Your legs? I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary. Shortness of breath. Would it help if I puked? Pick a card. Any tightness in your chest or arms? Pick a card. You don't seem too worried. Would you please pick a card? Our boss thinks your cardiac arrest was just a result of you accidentally drowning. The boss is an idiot. Put it back. Shuffle him up. So then why aren't you worried? Either I'm dying or I'm not. I mean, I don't want the ride to be over, but unless worrying is some new form of treatment, your card. No. Nope. We're going to prep you for a transesophageal echo. You sure you shuffle these? And I'm going to need to sedate you. Might want to check your wallet first. Well, check your wallet. It's part of the trick. <sighs> oh. That's my card. How did you do that? Do it again. <clears throat> Drop the medical stuff. Let me see the MRI film. We didn't get any images. You started screaming as soon as I turned it on. Define soon. Uh. I didn't even get a chance to sit down. You guys ever wonder how he was going to get out of that water tank? You, come. Lacerations in his digestive tract, and his spleen is shredded. Ladies and gentlemen, I have nothing in my hands, nothing on my sleeve. I do have something in my pants, but it's not gonna help with this particular trick. Watch closely. How you been? Fine, till now. Ta-da! Now you disappear. Look familiar? The MRI's magnet ripped this through your intestine into your spleen. Forgot about that. On account of almost dying. Where's Dr. Kuttner? He's no longer on your case. So there's nothing wrong with you. I didn't screw up that trick. Everything that's happened can be explained by you being forgetful and incompetent. You screwed up, you passed out. Now my favorite time to lie. When my life hangs in the balance. Your life doesn't hang in the balance. You know your life doesn't hang in the balance. Your reputation might hang. You ever do magic as a kid? You seem like the type, lonely, obsessive. I outgrew it. You? Pick a card. Too much trouble. If I just pick my nose, I'm not a hack. I tell you how it's done. Will you go home? So you're gonna make it magically appear in my wallet. I don't screw up. What are you giving me? How'd you do the trick? Oh, if I explain it, it becomes mundane. When you lose the actual magic. What do you mean, actual magic? You think you're actually sawing women in half? Are you gonna tell me what's wrong with me or not? Magic is cool. Actual magic is oxymoronic. Might not even be oxy. You're not gonna tell me unless I tell you? <laughs> you got a nurse to plant the card. I can't get a nurse to help me pee. You got a buddy to plant the card. Fun is in not knowing. The fun is in knowing. Oh, my head. Oh. I got a headache. How bad? Is it new? Oh, it's not too bad. I'll, I'll just take one of these Vicodin. <laughs> you eat a lot of beets. You 
have an electric toothbrush, and you sleep less than six hours a night. That's impressive. The red betamine from the beets stains the plaque deposits on your teeth, which are then swirled by your spinning toothbrush. Your heavy lids and your prematurely aging skin tell me that you're carrying a major sleep debt. That was way cooler before you explained it. It was meaningless until I explained it. People come to my show because they want a sense of wonder. They want to experience something that they can't explain. If the wonder's gone when the truth is known, there never was any wonder. You have tularemia from your rabbits. Put you on antibiotics, you'll be better in a couple of days. Sorry to spoil a mystery. Have you swallowed any more metal? Now would be a good time to tell us. Oh, my hands feel kind of numb. And you lost a lot of blood. I'm gonna die. Everybody gets scared in the hospital. You're sick, you feel awful. No. This time tomorrow, I'll be dead. What's that? It's not a tumor, it's another bleed. This one's in his kidney. And his thigh. He's bleeding all over the place. His timetable may be right on. Stop by the lab. Your mutinous team is starting to worry about life on Pitcairn Island. All your biopsies are clean. Because there's nothing wrong with me. Did Foreman finally okay the amyloidosis treatment? Patient scheduled for irradiation at 9. You risked your life again. You couldn't be sure he had amyloidosis. You can't be sure that I couldn't be sure. You did one test, it was negative. Inconclusive. Well, then, by all means, flood your body with possibly lethal blood. I usually like to give the lethal blood to Foreman, but I'm the only one who's type AB. Of course you're type AB. Universal recipient. You take from everybody. Of course, your type O, universal donor. No wonder you're paying three alimonies. How do you know what blood type I am? I don't know. Just seem to fit the metaphor. No, 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 no. Did you test my blood for something? Why would you test my blood for something? I didn't. You must have told me what you were. Who the hell chats about their blood type? You had to have tested me. There's no reason to ask anyone their blood type. You're about to run out of here, aren't you? Nurse, can I have a moment with my patient? He's doing radiation. It's too late. He's dying. Told you. I'm sorry I doubted you. It'd be a shame if your secrets died with you. Got that trick written down somewhere. Or maybe you want to tell me and I'll write it down for you. That way, you can live on. <laughs> I'm taking it with me. See, that way, it stays magic. You were wrong about everything. It was never magic and you're not dying. What's your blood type? It's type A. What? Trust me, it's way cooler to know. Where's Finn? Up my sleeve. It's not amyloidosis, and his blood's fine. We just gave him the wrong type. Cause the DIC, explains the bleeding, multi-system failures. But we tested his blood. That's because we don't test blood for type. We test for antibodies. Because your body only makes those antibodies when you actually have that type of blood. Apparently, he has one more symptom. His body's making an extra antibody, type B. Combine that with his natural type A, and presto changeo, he magically pulls blood type AB out of his hat. Would you stop that? God, yes. Autoimmune diseases can make antibodies go haywire, but still. It's happened. Apparently, it's happened again. I finally had a case of lupus. Flush him with saline, transfuse four units type A, and start him on steroids. He'll be back hoodwinking idiots in no time. <laughs>